how long do the benefits of PEMF last? So it really depends on the condition that you're treating. So some uh, humans and animals, the uh, PEMF may last forever. I've had, you know, we've worked with animals that had a limp and they, the, the animal owner didn't know why. We went, we did a PEMF session, the animal stopped limping, uh, felt better. We, we, we have no idea why the, the body took that energy, was able to pull out that inflammation, and it was gone. Uh, maybe it was just a stretched muscle. We don't know. Uh, some people who may have very, very serious industries or more chronic conditions, it's, it's something that you need to do regularly, like maintenance. Like, you can't work out once and be fit. You don't take one aspirin and you have no more headaches. So it's something that becomes part of your lifestyle. Um, and in the end, one of the things you want to focus on in your life, whether it's with PMF or anything, if you don't concentrate on wellness, you eventually will have to when you're, you have an illness. So wellness isn't important until you're sick. Um, and it's the most important thing. So one of the things I recognize, I, I recommend with anybody who's interested in PMF or using it, make it part of your wellness routine. Uh, get to do it weekly. Eventually, then maybe you could just do it monthly. Uh, the more often you do it and you get rid of your pain, then you could just do regular maintenance sessions like one, once a month. Now that's with high power PMF. There's low power PMF where it's a blanket or a uh, mat that you lay on and it's very low power, you cannot feel it. Those sessions need to be done regularly, uh, daily, at most of the time to keep up and get the amount of energy the body needs to get optimal results. But with higher power PMF that you can feel, you can pretty much just do it, uh, get you know two to three times a week in the beginning, then down to once a week, then down to once a month. So it, it really varies on what type of PMF you're using.